In this video, I want to show you how you can install Calculate on an Ubuntu or an Ubuntu Mate or any of the Ubuntu derivatives or the Debian based systems. If you found this video on YouTube, I will provide a link below the video to show how to install it. Now, if you're using Windows or Mac, you can also install it on those systems as well. Now, let's take a look at what Calculate is. Calculate is a multi purpose desktop calculator for GNU Linux. It's a small and simple to use but much powerful with a much powerful and versatility underneath it. It features include customizable functions, units, arbitrary precision, plotting, and a user-friendly interface. So this is basically what it will look like. You can click the first name in the sentence or the, or the paragraph to actually open up the developer's website. Here you can download the version and by clicking the download link it will take you to the download section. Now here is it was updated on October the 13th, 2021, and on my website, this website, or the actual page on my website, has been posted on June 22nd of 2018, which is a few years ago, and I didn't make a YouTube video, but now there's, uh, this is a new version, it has a lot of updates and, and nice features, so I thought it was worthy of creating a YouTube video. You can click for new news on the program, additional features, a lot of screenshots, the download section. So if you click here, you can see you can download it for a Windows system, 64-bit or 32-bit systems. You can inst uh, you can download and just use the portable versions in case you don't want to install it on the system. And for Mac users, there's also installation files. If you want to install it by source code, it's here. And for Linux, you can install it by Snap Package, Flat Pack, and I do have pictures, illustrations for Snap, and using the Ubuntu repositories that will install an older version. Now here's a self-contained binary files that you can use it as a standalone very similar to the portable of Windows or you can actually install it by downloading this particular file so on my system for snap users and Ubuntu repositories I have the instructions here and then I have the step-by-step -step illustrated instructions for installing it and for removing the program by uh, those instructions. Now for the self-contained binary if you click here it will take you to the download link which is here and I didn't put the the number 3.2 on this particular one because in the future it may update so I just put this link that will take you to the downloads folder. So at the time of this uh, making this video it's calculate 3.2.1 and it's for the 32-bit and 64-bit systems. So if you click this, it will download the file into the location that you have your browser set up to download to. I have it in my downloads folder. So I go here and here is the file that it would be downloading. If I double click onto it to open my archive manager, as you can see inside the archive uh, or the compressed file is a folder called calculate 3.2.1 or not point one, three point two one point zero. And if I open that folder, you can see there's a README file, an update, install, calc, and calculate. So these are, are the files that is in that compressed file. So let me close this out. The best way to uncompress it in an Ubuntu or an Ubuntu-based system is to right-click on it and choose Extract here. Then when you do, it will take that file or in that folder and place it into the current folder, which in this case is the downloads. So if I go double click here's the install this is the QALC which use your terminal it's a terminal based calculator and here's the calculate so if I double click it as you can see here it actually runs as a portable version so if you like the portable version you're done always just go to that folder and double click or you can say send a desktop uh, and actually where it's got copy and stuff copy to you can say send it to wherever you would like to have an icons at some other place. Here's the README file that you can open up in a text. You can hit update to see if there's a new version. So as you can see you can run this as a standalone. If I choose to install it I don't want to just double click install because I want to install it in a program folder where I have other programs so I want to open right click on it and say run as an administrator. When I do that it's going to come up with my authenticate dialog box. So this is where I put my password to open my terminal up as a super user. So when I hit authenticate, it's going to open my terminal as a super user, but it says, do you wish to copy the binaries, which is these two files, to a different location? So I don't want to install the program in my downloads folder. So I'm going to type in yes, press the enter return key, and it's going to say copy the binaries to, and if I want to copy them in my .local, which is a hidden folder in a BIN file, then I just simply hit copy, 
put this here and hit paste. When I press my enter return, it will copy these two files into the dot local, which is a hidden folder, bin folder. So let me press enter and immediately it will close the terminal after it copies those files. So let me press enter and it closed the terminal after it copied them too. So this is my home folder and you don't see any dot local folder because any folder or file that has dot in front of it means hidden. So I go to my view, I say show hidden files, it should say show hidden files in folder and as you can see here there's a dot local. This is the folder. So there's the dot local, here's the bin, and so here's the calc and the calculate uh, folder. So if I double, or not folder, file. So if I double click that, that's just like the installation, you know, the portable version that allows me to execute it from here. Now, once that you hit install, it should put it within your menu. It should go to accessories. You may have to reboot your system and it shows up in accessories. If it's not in accessories, if you have an educational folder, it should show up there. So you click it and the first time it runs, it may take a little longer than what you saw because it has to go out and fetch the exchange rate. So if you're exchanging currency from one country to another, it will have to update the exchange rates and other like features as well. So if you want to update those manually, you can go file, update the exchange rates. It says fetching the exchange rates and once it's done, then it will, and, and it closed. I didn't even have to hit the X when it was finished. So it done that the first time you install it and you can manually do that from that point on or to see that the rates are active or current. So if you don't have the calculator in your menu, I have the instructions for an setting it up on Ubuntu or Ubuntu Mate users uh, which are here the instructions you can basically go to system preferences look and feel click on the main menu uh, if you want to install it in accessories click here and go new items or educate here you can go new item I'm not going to click the new item because it's going to create a uh, create launcher that's blank because I have it here you're just going to choose application at the top you're going to type in calculate or copy and paste and put this into the create launcher and when you copy and paste this, you can't copy mine because this is my home folder. Whatever the name of your home folder is, you put it and then the, the dot local bin calculate is basically what you're putting here. And then next you're going to put in a comment if you'd like. You can click this icon and go down and select the icon uh, that you have on your system. Now on my system, uh, if you look up here, if you don't have an icon, you can right click if you prefer that icon and put it in a folder of your choice or right click this one. This is the newest icon. This is the icon that I had when I had a Ubuntu 18.04. That was the icon they used. And with the newer version of Ubuntu 20.04 or newer, this is the icon that has been updated. So you can right click these and save them to a folder to use them as your icon here. Then hit OK. And if it's at the bottom of the list, you can click onto it hit move up to move it up so it will place it like if it's down at the bottom and that might be where it's at you can go move up move up to put it in alphabetical order and then hit close so as you can see here I now have uh, the program and I'll go ahead and close it close this out I now have it into my education folder and I showed you how to manually put it if after you install it and after you uh, reboot if it's not there I showed you how you can manually install it so you hit here and the calculate comes up. Now I'm not going to go through all the features because if you go here and go to manual and I do have a manual link at the very bottom of my website that you can click on to go to the manual and show all the features of the calculator. But on my website I do have like the user interface that shows you the part of the calculate calculator and the different buttons. Now on here you can go click on keypad make it or you can go look at your history or if you'd like to go conversion you can scroll down and there's lots of different conversions you can do but let me go back to keypad because this is what a normal calculator or a calculator has the keys and you can click with your mouse or you can use your keyboard now let me go and minimize this and actually so we're not looking at the background and I'm gonna go 3x and then I'm gonna hit the plus and I'm gonna go 4 then I'm going to hit the equals on my keyboard and then I'm going to go 28 and then when I'm finished I can hit the equals and this is the calculate expression so when I hit equals as you can see here x equals 8 what it does is this here is my uh, equation which is 3x plus 4 equals 28 and they break it down to the order of operations so as you can see here the first thing you're going to do is do the inside the parentheses here which is 3 times x which was basically 3x then it plus 4 so let's take our answer which is 8 
and go to 3 times 8, which is 24. That's inside the parentheses. Once we get 24 plus 4 equals 28. So x does equal 8. So that, that's an easy, simple algebraic expression, as you can see here. Now, that it will also do, if you go through Edit, you've got lots and lots of edit features. You've got lots of different modes, and, and you can go through the submenus and set it up the way that your preference for it. As you can see here, there's algebra uh, mode. There are uh, precision. you got your uh, interval displays, your unit displays, and you got the algebra, calculus, you got economics, you got your logic, geometry, so you got your statistics, trigonometry, so you can use it for a lot of different classes in your middle school, high school, early college levels. Now you got your units that you can come through here and choose the units for all these different menus and submenus. Well then your help, you got your contents, you can report a bug, you can check for updates, and you can look at the current version at the time, which is 3.2.0, and it's a GTK user interface. So this is a very nice calculator called Calculate. So it's were for Windows, Linux, and Mac users. Now, normally, uh, when I look online, people that are installing calculators within Linux, you get a lot of people that are bashing the type of calculators. So let me close this out. If it's if there's not a feature within Linux that's on the calculate there's other calculators that you can install and if you don't like to install the Linux based calculators then you can install something like the TI-83 plus and I'm not saying this for the TI-83 plus you can install a program called T-I-L-E-M and that allows you to install it from uh, the ROM from your calculator that you may be using or you can hook the calculator to your computer, get the ROM from your calculator, and use the program called T-I-L-E-M. And I do have this on my website, so that if you don't like Calculate or the other Linux-based, like where I got the TI-83+, Plus, you can click here, or the educational programs, and you don't have to install the TI-83. You can go and install uh, the actual, and I show you what to go to on the Synaptic Package Manager. If you don't have that in your system, you can install in Synaptic Package Manager and install the program TILEM. This lets you install calculator ROMs on your system so that it works with this program through the ROM that you have installed on your system. Now, I'm not supplying you the ROMs. That's what you get when you purchase your calculator so that you can install it on your Linux based system. But this is not a uh, TILM review. This is how to install the Calculate calculator on your Linux system, and it's also available for Windows and Mac users. So hopefully this video has been helpful as in showing you how to install it on an Ubuntu or Debian based system. And hopefully this video has been helpful to you, and have a great day.